gonna get shot up next. I want to go to school and be happy to be there, not happy to come out alive. I moved here though uh, in August from Florida. I was gonna go to this high school if I still stayed there and I knew two of the people who died. Whatever I can do, I'll, I'll do it. I'm underage, I can't vote, so I might as well be out here protesting. Lately, the entirety of Japan met with one gun death last year. One death. A single death. I don't want to become a murderer. Yeah. Why can't we do that? Because of, because of these laws. Because of these because of the blood money that's being taken. Vote him out. 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 Vote them out. Vote them out. Vote them out. Last year I started to tell people about these feelings and my anxiety attacks. Even though the people around me have been so supportive, especially my teacher and my mom, it shouldn't be this way. The NRA has got to go, baby! Ho, ho! The NRA has got to go, baby! Ho, ho! The NRA has got to go! 
I was in art class when the active shooter alarm went off at school. Locks, lights, out of sight. I started crying and bolted into the closet. Then all my friends ran in. I was bawling, of course, and my best friend told me something I will always remember. Please, stop crying. You're going to get us away. I borrowed my friend's phone to text my mother because mine was in my backpack on the other side of the room. It's Maddie, I told her. Shooter at school, on the news. I'm safe, I love you. But later I learned that I may not have been as safe as I thought. My building was directly next to the building that the shooter went in, and he shot out windows directly at the wall that I was sitting against. None of us should have to have gone through this. No one should have had to have gone through anything like this. So many people in this state felt this. So many more people have felt this than should have ever had to have felt this. How do we stop another school shooting? I can tell you how we don't. By caring more about our guns than our children. <laughs> Arming teachers is not a solution. The NYPD misses four out of every five shots. My 60 year old science teacher who's 5'11 with heels on cannot be expected to make any of her shots at a child that she may have taught. We need a system with constantly updated background information that is always checked before someone buys a gun. We need a required ownership class where people can learn how to properly handle their guns and how to keep it away from children who might accidentally get a hold of them. We need a test, a test in performance proficiency and a written test to make sure that you know the safety of a gun before you can buy a gun. We need to review permits every three or five years checking background again and performing the test again to make sure no one has become in danger. I know to some people, especially politicians, this may seem like a lot, but it's not as much as you think and it's what we need. In Federalist Paper number 29, Alexander Hamilton discusses this particular amendment. In it, he explains that the Founding Fathers did not intend for this to mean for civilians to own guns. He said a well-regulated militia because what they wanted was not a standing army for the government. They wanted a militia made up of part-time volunteer soldiers. So the soldiers would stay loyal to the country instead of anyone who tried to take it over. I see no purpose in having guns of war um, in the hands of, of anybody, period. <laughs>